okay? We gotta just clean up a few little things and keep playing complimentary, and no matter what happens, figure out a way. Okay, congratulations, top three touchdowns, man. Hell of a day. <laughs> like sacks, man. They come in bunches, okay, fellas? Defense, we got after the quarterback. We affected him. You sacked him six times. You hit him. I don't know how many times. Oh, but hell, you about time. Okay, great job, fellas. Okay, congratulations. Well, we've, we've won before. We know how to win. We just got to clean a few things up. Okay, and we're going to keep winning. I promise you that. Tighten up! From the Bet MGM studio, happy Halloween and welcome to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Short week for the Titans as they play Thursday night in Pittsburgh. So sitting in for the head coach tonight, our coach on Titans Radio, Dave McGinnis. Coach Mack, thanks for being here. Great being here. Okay. Great being here after a win. After a win, it's good. Okay, a couple questions to begin with. You're not at home to meet the trick-or-treaters. How are you going to handle this? I, I've already figured that out with them. I okay. talked to them. So you're going to be your hustle they know, back they after the show. They know when to come to my house. We've got a time schedule, and they're going to bring their dogs. So I'm Good. ready. Okay, so that's important. The other thing today, <laughs> the trade deadline hit at three o'clock for this season. Titans stand pat. Are you surprised by that? Not at all. Not at all. And 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 of course, with the trade of Kevin Byard. You know, you had a very valuable asset to us, but clearly he was a valuable asset to somebody else. And it was the right football move at the time, even, even as painful as it was. But this football team, you're not going to trade, Mike, your players unless you can get something commensurate with what they are worth that will help you. And clearly there were other some offers that were made, but they weren't even close to what Rand Carthon nor Mike Vrabel even wanted to consider. All right, let's jump right into the Vrabel Six Pack presented by Seat Geek, and we have to start with Big Jeff and the pressure. You heard Mike <laughs> Vrabel say in the open, six sacks. This one certainly showed up big time. As there's the big man. Well, the thing that the, the thing that happens here that when you look at it and you get the overhead view of it, put Big Jeff out on the end. It confused their protection, and when you take a look, Big Jeff is coming just unimpeded to the quarterback. Now, Big Jeff is a big presence on the field. I would think I would know where he was if I was an offensive line trying to protect my quarterback. Clearly they didn't. Ritter took the brunt of it, and it was a big, big play at the time. Ritter sacked five times in the ball game, out at halftime, replaced in the second half by Taylor Heineke. Special teams also a key for the Titans. Ryan Stonehouse punted eight times, six of them inside the opponent's 20. This is a great punt and great coverage. Well, the punts were tremendous. This was a field position game, Mike. We talked about it going into the game, how big field position was going to be. So the punt itself has to be made, but the punt coverage has to be able to envelop and be able to form a picket fence around the returner. I thought all day they did a great job of both facets of the punt game. Mike Hughes, the punt returner. The tackler is Kevin Rader with his third special teams tackle of the year. Titans won special teams on Sunday. They hope to do it Thursday night at Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh. Jeffrey Simmons' second sack was a takeaway and a big play in the ball game. Well, this is this is this is huge. And, and the defensive line started really coming off the football and coming with a tsunami type of a wave. And when that happens, you get those guys coming in a unit. And then plus strip the football. We had talked about this earlier in the week, too. And they worked on it. Go for the football when you've got the quarterback corralled. They went for it, they got it. They did it. Danica Watry leads the team in sacks with five. His fifth sack of the ball game came right at the end of the first half and gave the Falcons no chance to drive the football late. Well, it's great to see Danico. He's on a game here where they start. They ran a TE game. And, and look, Danico Autry has always been a guy that's been a disruptor. Ever since he's been here, he has been a disruptor. That's been his career. He's a big, big part of this defensive pressure front. 
and Danico Autry credited with the sack. Jeffrey Simmons could have gotten another one there if Danico hadn't gotten there. So big day for Simmons overall, six tackles, two sacks, and two tackles for loss. Will Levis, the story of the day, of course, at quarterback, his third touchdown pass, a thing of beauty to DeAndre Hopkins. Well, the little thing, the nuance there was a little shoulder fake to move the safety. And then D Hop is the king of the double move. He is the king of the double move, always has been in his career. But that just little nuanced nudge with that, with that shoulder to, to get the people to believe in the back end that would be coming over the top of this, that he was going to throw it outside, that was beautiful. This, this connection was a lot of fun to watch, Mike. The passing game was the story of the day because of the rookie quarterback in his debut. But the Titans had a very effective run game. Overall, they were able to rush the ball 33 times if you take out the kneel downs for over 150 yards. Derrick Henry with 101 yards. And here's a big run from Tajay Spears. Well, Tajay Spears is such a good compliment to Derrick Henry. And as you said, you heard Mike Vrabel talking in the locker room after the game. We played great complimentary football. Well, these two guys played great complimentary football on the ground. They're two distinctly different types of runners, but they're two very effective runners. And together, when they're working like this, you've got something moving on offense. Spears is certainly a grown-up back coach. He had not had much going on during the course of the game. And then he gets that run, which sparks an 85-yard touchdown drive, then in essence puts the game away. This kid just understands football, though. He's a football player. And I know that sounds simple to say, but some guys just get the essence of what playing football is. He's got it. All right. When we come back, we are headed to the Vrabel Strader, which I guess tonight is the Max Strader. And we're going to take a look at Will Levis's fourth touchdown pass against the Falcons and how the play developed. So it's the Vrabel Strader or the Max Strader next on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Stay with us. Back in the Bet MGM studio, the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Time to go to the Vrabel Strader. <laughs> Dave McGinnis is going to show us Will Levis's fourth touchdown pass where he basically through Nick Westbrook Akine open. Show us, Coach. I love the variable straighter. The variable straighter is really solid here. Here, first thing I want to do is show you we're in 11 personnel, three wides, one tight, one back. Now, what we're going to look at here, we're, we're in the slot, all right, to get to get rid of this. Push right there, hit this that again. Right here. Yes. All right, now, here's what we want to do. Where's my free hand right here? This is the dude that's going to get the ball, but... These guys right here, they influence what's going on. I want you to watch the coverage starts to roll outside up, up here to the top. It rolls right. outside up here to the top. Nick Westbrook Akine is in the slot. They are playing man to man, but this the safety in the corner are going to lean to this side. So it's going to put the deep safety man to man on Nick Westbrook Akine in the slot. Are we ready? Now watch it because they're going to bring some pressure and here we go. Let's get this all out of here. All right, here go. we go. Stop this thing Stop right, right here. There. Okay, now here's, here's who we're looking at right here. Right here, you can see all of a sudden Nick Westbrook Akine has put a nod move, a nod outside and go back inside to the post. You can see everybody is caught up man to man here. This man right here is over the top out here for this receiver here. And look at the pressure on Levis right there, even before he's thrown the ball. He's going to get belted. This right here is, is, is key to this. As, we, as, we, as he moved outside to the outside, I want you to watch at the launch point, he has got nothing to step into. This is all arm, and it's really all arm from here to here. All right, hit it, Coach. Okay, are we ready? I don't need to hit that again, do I? Okay, now we're, here we go. Just roll it from the top. Then. Let's roll it. Why do I keep hitting that, Ashley? Just hit the top one. Now there let's you go. go. Here Boom. we go all the way. Let's watch it all the way across the field. Now let's take another look at this thing as it starts. We got, Billy, white we shoes. got, Billy, we got Billy White shoes here in the end zone. All right, let's let it run here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how far this ball travels. It's a 33-yard touchdown, but it goes 55 yards in the air. 33 yards at, from the launch point back here. But this thing travels 55 yards in the air. Wow. And the thing that's beautiful to watch is he leads him with 55 yards with a half arm toss, which is really, really pretty impressive. That's good stuff, coach. We need to get to break. When we come back, we're going to do some defense. Aziz Al Shire, huge game. We had him wired. His epic Western spotlight moment is next on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by CP. 
Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Titans general manager Rand Carthon brought former 49ers linebacker Aziz Alshire to Nashville partly due to his familiarity with him. Well, in seven games this year, Alshire has 73 tackles and leads the ball club. On Sunday, he had 11 more stops and he was everywhere. He was also wired for sound, so it gives us a great opportunity to make Aziz Alshire this week's Epic Western Spotlight. One play at a time, have fun doing this. Fly around, hit that in the mouth, man. Hey, rock out on three, one, two, three. Rock out. Come on, brother. I'm with y'all all day. Let's go. I'm with y'all all day. Let's go. Fly around, have fun. Come on, hop. Need you today, baby. Hey, you been that. Feel that. Let's go. Don't get scared now. They're kind of big. Good luck, man. Good luck, brother. Let's go with us. Let's go with us, bro. Let's go with us. Communicate, have fun. Shit, man. Right here, baby. You gotta love this. You gotta love this. Ritter, deep drop. Looking under pressure. Sack! Jeffrey Simmons! Looking Levis, throwing deep Levis. Trying to get it to Hopkins. He's got it at the five. No! Into the end zone. Touchdown! Titans! Hey. Hey. All right now. All right now. All right, boy. Gotta turn it up a little bit. Pressure coming. Ritter hit, lost the ball. It's rolling free. The Titans try to cover it. Do they get on the ball? Do they get on the ball? They sure do. Al Shire has recovered the fumble for the Titans. By the grace of God. I'll try to that crib. Jeff's his biggest. Jeff hit my. What happened? Levis to throw it. Fires, got it. It's Hopkins at the 10, at the 5, in the end zone. This yo, boy, hey, boy, have a day. Have a day, let's go. All right, boy. Wow. Uh. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, well. Dropping, Ritter, hit, sack! Jack Gibbons! Talk about black. Still my sack though. Still my sack. Just know my sack. He still my sack. I did still see the sack. I said, "Hey, I'm going." He said, "No, I'm going." Hey, right here. This is our moment. This is the final moment in the game. Who gonna be the one to make play? <laughs> Firing deep downfield, going for Westbrook. Akine in the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Hey, Willie! All right, Willie! Hey, they looking at us. Come on, lead the way. Let's go. Dicky! Proud of you, boy. Final score, Tennessee 28, Atlanta 23. Let's go! I'm going to need one of these, boy. Got you, you hit me. I'm going to send one to you. I got All right, man. My dog. Hey, boy, I'm so up, proud of you, man. Thank you, man. Hey, keep leading the way, bro, for real. You came a long way. Damn we both right. did. William Lovelace, I love you! All right, now. Let's win the ship. That's now. Right. Love you, guys. Hey, you got to get a number two jersey now, man. Fantastic. <laughs> Love to watch that guy play football. Dave McGinnis, he's not just making tackles now. He's impacting the game more and more as the weeks go on. Why is he able to have more of an impact? That's a wonderful segment, first of all. And you can hear really what goes on. But you can tell the other guys are dialed into him. He, he, he understands the game. That's why he was brought in here. This guy plays the game with a passion, but he also understands the game. And you can see the interaction that he has with his teammates. What a great, great segment that was. All right. When we come back, ask the coach, Coach Mack. Kids <laughs> ask Coach Mack questions. That and the keys to success coming up on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Welcome back to the Bet MGM studio and the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Dave McGinnis sitting in for the head coach on this short week. 
We've come to the point in the show that is Mike Vrabel's very favorite. It'll be coaches as well. It's time for Kids Ask Coach Mac. Yes. It's Aaliyah. Aaliyah, I can't wait for this question. Happy Halloween, Coach Mac. What's your favorite Halloween costume? What did she ask? What is your favorite Halloween costume? Skeleton, Aaliyah. Skeleton. Why skeleton, Coach? Well, because it looks good. It's black. Well, and it's, it's black, and then it's got white things on it. They're supposed to be your bones. Skeleton. Skeleton, Aaliyah. So when, when you go back to have your trick-or-treaters out tonight, will you dress up for them to greet Yes, them? I got a skeleton outfit. Oh, okay. That's good. I'm Absolutely coming by good. to see that. Well, uh, <laughs> Coach Mac, <laughs> Coach Mac's <laughs> Nissan keys to success are upcoming. That's next on the Mike Vrabel Show presented by SeatGeek. Stay with us. Dave McGinnis is here with me on the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Seat Geek from the Bet MGM studio. It's time now for the Nissan Keys to Success. And of course, the keys to success are important in two days because the Titans play at Pittsburgh. Coach, number one, got to be the best defense on the field. Well, I think this is a, um, you know, going into, into Pittsburgh, especially in the national televised game, we've been up there before. I've been up there as a coach. You've been up there as a broadcaster. This is, this is, this is when the Pittsburgh Steelers really shine. Their, their whole franchise is built on defense. We, the Titans, have to be the best defense on the field up there. This is going to be a defense field position game. Titans have to be the ones to be able to assert themselves in a very, very hostile environment. Steelers have had difficulties on offense, and their quarterback, Kenny Pickett, who says he's going to play, yes. is dinged up. What, what do you fear most about the Steelers' offense? What worries you the most that the Titans' defense has to be concerned with? Kenny Pickett is their starting quarterback because Mike Tomlin knows that he understands the nuances of the game. Kenny Pickett was a guy that they said had too small a hands, was too short, was all of this. He's a dealer. He's a dealer, and we cannot afford to let him get hot. We've got to be able to pressure him, and then our coverage, they're going to show us some different movement of motions, and we've got to be able in the back end to figure all of that out pretty quick. And he's a guy, too, this year. He's been okay the first three quarters, but lights out in the fourth quarter. So the Titans are going to have to play him for 60 minutes and do a good job. Let's take a look at Nissan key to success number two, account for T.J. Watt in not just the pass game, but also the run game. Yeah, I'm both of their edge guys. And when I say T.J. Watt, I really am talking about the Steelers' defense. But T.J. Watt is the linchpin of that whole defense. And as he goes, they go. When you watch their ball games, even if they have not been very successful early on, once he gets cranked up, either it's with a sack or setting the edge or being able to cause a minus yardage play, all of a sudden they catch fire. We've got to know where this guy is at all times. They will move him around, but you know this, when he is playing in the ball game, Mike, he's going to be a factor. So we've got to know where he is, get one hat or two hats on him at all times. Atlanta has a good defense, but they don't have a single player like T.J. Watt. Well, I they? think T.J. Watt is one of the premier players in the league. And, and we've played good players before on defense. But T.J. Watt is, as I said, the linchpin for what the Steelers do on defense. He's got to be a focal point. All right, Nissan key number three. Continue to make a positive impact on special teams. We just did a feature on that, and the special teams are going to be huge up there. It's going to be cold. It's going to be a colder ball game uh, and a night ball game. In that environment, field position is going to make the, all the difference in the world. And field position comes into play in a lot of different areas, but the punt game particular and our coverage has got to be big. We've got to be completely clean in the special teams area. Punting it and then... When you get a chance to score points with a field goal, do it. But the other thing that's happened, we did it in the last game too. We had we had a look, some different things in the way we kicked the ball off to pin them down there for a field position game. All of that, Mike, has to come into play at Pittsburgh. Again, the Titans did not make any trades today. So the trade deadline passes without any moves. The other news today, Mike Vrabel saying that, uh, again, if Ryan Tannehill can't go and he did not practice, that it's going to be Will Levis's show Last question for you, Coach. Will Levis going to see a Pittsburgh defense that will have seen him on tape now? What is he going to have to do 
differently against Pittsburgh knowing they know something about him. Just play within himself. That's exactly what he did. He he was very poised in this last ball game that he played. This first ball game, his first jump out of the chute, so to speak, he was very, very poised. Play within himself. The moment will not be too big for him. He's been in big games before in the Southeastern Conference. This was a huge game that, that he really helped orchestrate a win in Nissan Stadium. Play within yourself. And, and really, I, I think the way this guy conducts himself, I don't think that that's going to be any problem with him. But play within yourself. Don't try to do anything special. Just do what you do and do it consistently. Certainly got to take care of the football in this game. The Pittsburgh Steelers have 15 takeaways this season. Statistically, not great on offense or defense, but those takeaways have gotten them to 4-3 and three on the season. They'll try to go to 5-3 and three against the Titans on Thursday night. The Titans trying to even their record at 4-4. Four and four. We'll see you Thursday night, 715 on Titans Radio. Have a great night, everybody. Happy Halloween.